Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of even and odd. This is standard 3.4i in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 which is a new item type multi-select off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a list of five numbers and we need to select two that are odd. That's it. Now, there's no calculation here. We're just recognizing things. So let's open up our graph paper. We're going to hit the graph draw button. We're going to expand it with those diagonal arrows in the top right hand corner. Let's make it a little bit more transparent. All right, so what do we know about even and odd, okay? Uh, so there's nothing on our mathematics chart or our reference materials that say anything about even or odd. This is a, something that we need to know, a vocabulary term that we need to be uh, familiar with before we come into this problem. So let's start with even numbers because those two always go together. So even numbers can be divided into two equal groups. So even numbers can be divided. Sometimes the writing doesn't work so well with this particular draw feature. Divided into two equal groups. So even numbers can be e divided into two equal groups. And then odd can't. And then everything else can't be divided into two equal groups. So that's the difference. So watch if we're going to do like one, divide that into two equal groups. Well, that's odd. So I'm going to put an odd right there because it can, it's not two equal groups. Two, right? I could put one, two. So that's even because I can put that into two equal groups. Three, one, two, three. So that's odd, because look, I can't put that into two groups, whereas four, one, two, three, four, that's even, because I can't put into two groups. You notice the pattern? Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So how can we solve this problem? Well, we can look for some patterns, and you know what? Let's, let's write what I have right here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10. All right, so if we make our little hundreds chart here. All right, so 1 was odd, 2 was even, 3 was odd, 4 was even, and I, I bet we could just continue that. All right, so even is going to be for 6 because I can make that 3 and 3, odd for 7, even for 8, I can make that 4 and 4, odd for 9, even for 10, I can make that 5 and 5 but nine, it has to be five and four. So how does this help me? Well, check this out. I can continue this, right? So 11 will be odd, 12 will be even, 13, 14 will be even, while 13 is odd, 15 will be odd, 16 will be even, 17 will be odd, 18 will be even, 19 will be odd. So here's my pattern. Now, I could continue this all the way down, but I don't think you want to watch that long of a video. Check out this pattern. If I were to continue with my 20s, what are you noticing about the ones digit? Look at this column, one, one, one. Anything with a one in the ones place is gonna be odd, whereas anything with a two in the ones place is gonna be even. So I can just look at the ones digit. So take a look at this, this four, this 54, that's going to be 30, 40, 50. So 54 is going to land right here. That's going to be even. So I don't want that. 65 is going to land right here. That is going to be odd. So that's good. 82 is going to land right down here. That's even because it's in this even column. 36 is going to be right here. It's in my even column, so I don't want it. 93, look at 93, it's in my odd column. So I can use my hundreds chart to extend it. My answers are 65 and 93.